Dear Ukrainians, a rescue operation lasted all day in Odessa at the site of the Russian strike by a shod drone. Currently, the state emergency service, police, and other services continue to work. There is information about people under the rubble. It was an ordinary residential building, one of many destroyed by the inhuman Russians. As of now, seven deaths are known, including two children. One infant, four months old, named Timothy, and the boy Mark, who hadn't turned three yet. I pass my condolences to all their families and loved ones. Eight people were injured, including another child, a three-year-old girl. Necessary assistance is provided to all who have been injured. I thank everyone who participates in the rescue operation and who supports people. And it is very important to be together, to help each other. Such attacks by shade drones have no military sense and cannot have any. This is terrorism aimed solely at destroying lives, solely at intimidating people. The world knows what can be opposed to terrorism. The world has enough missile defense systems, systems to protect against shod drones and missiles. And delaying the supply of weapons to Ukraine, missile defense systems to protect our people leads, unfortunately, to such losses, to the fact that the list of children whose lives Russia takes away constantly grows. Ukraine asked for nothing more than necessary to protect lives. When lives are lost and partners are simply playing internal political games or disputes that limit our defense, it's impossible to understand. It's unacceptable. And it will be impossible to forget. The world will remember this. Russian terror must be defeated. It's fundamental. There is nothing they recognize in Moscow except strength. Therefore, there must be more of our strength and unity, unity of the world, unity here in Ukraine. If anyone still lacks motivation, shade drones every night, that's motivation. Russian missiles, Russian evil, every loss of ours, every soldier of ours who gave his life for the independence of Ukraine. A clear understanding of the enemy and real, not feigned respect for our heroes, all this is motivation to fight, to destroy the occupiers and work for our state and people, for the strengthening of Ukraine. Everyone who works for the state must be in the state, for the state, care for the state, for common interests, not personal ones, personal interests after the war. Now everyone must support defense, care for people, preserve lives. Every day, everyone must add something to Ukraine, to our common strength. Every day, I communicate with partners so that we can get exactly what is needed. Every day, military reports. Every day, the commander-in-chief and commanders are on the front lines, right where they are needed. The commander-in-chief has carte blanche for personnel changes in the army, in the headquarters, any changes. All Ukrainian commanders must know the front, feel the front, the real needs. They must be with the soldiers, sergeants in reality. They must be what is needed to achieve Ukrainian goals. At the beginning of next week, after General Colonel Sersky's return from the front, I expect him with a detailed report and specific proposals for further changes and actions. We are preparing for further work with partners, our meetings, our negotiations, for the sake of weapons for Ukraine, for the sake of the continuity of support. Strength is needed from everyone. 
We need to win this battle. The battle against evil and also against despair, on which Putin is counting heavily. We need to protect Ukraine and lives. And we can do it. I thank everyone who is currently in battle, on the front lines, on combat missions. Thank you to all the soldiers of mobile fire groups and everyone who defends our sky. Thank you to everyone who works in the defense sector and increases our own production of weapons every day. It's extremely important. And now I also want to acknowledge the team of the State Emergency Service of Ukraine, all rescuers, especially those who are currently working in Odessa. Denis Panteleyev, Vitali Churilin, Oleksandr Kovzolovich, Oleksandr Doha, Dmitro Holovchenko, Oleksi Harmash, Fedir Kaisen, Oleksandr Popov, Mikhail Otegza, Andriy Bakhmetyev, Henadi Karageorgi. Thank you, guys. Thank you to all of you. Thank you to your colleagues. Glory to everyone in Ukraine, for Ukraine and with Ukraine. Glory to Ukraine!